So, it looks like Graham Quigley threw me under the bus and tagged me to do this uh, What do you want to tell us about yourself video? Which is cool. Just joking, Graham. You're a cool guy, man. No worries. So, uh, the way you start this out is first question is, what do you want to tell us about yourself? So, most people pick something a bit unusual. So, I'm going to go with this one. Um, since I'm 53 and all this stuff's behind me, um, I'll just put this out there. For the better part of two decades, I was a pugilist. And when I say pugilist, I mean not necessarily in the ring, but I did a bit out on the street and so forth. So a lot of people might misinterpret this as thinking that I went out and picked fights and stuff like that. It's not really how that worked. It's just if it was there, I would oblige people. So. And this is how I got this scar. Um, not from a fight um, exactly, but the after effects because I got punched in the head by a good old boy and when my head snapped back it, it uh, ruptured one of my discs in my cervical vertebrae so I let that go for about 15 or 20 years and I had to have it repaired. So. Make a long story short, I, like I said, for the better part of two decades, it was, and that's not my stance, that's Tom Hardy from Bronson, but uh, I mixed it up a little bit, uh, then I started getting older and slowing down, so, you know, I can still remember my last nine fights, some in the ring, some not, I went like three and six, so then it's time to hang it up, so. Haven't done any of that in uh, probably close to 20 years now, so that's all behind me. So there's the uh, the thing about me that maybe some of you didn't know. You know don't be fooled by this refined facade. Uh, you know, I wasn't always reading and writing, but okay. On to number two, favorite author. Stephen King, hands down. There are a lot of other authors I enjoy. You know, like I've said, Sidney Sheldon, but uh, Stephen King's probably, in my opinion, one of the best writers that's ever lived. Number three, favorite movie, Altered States. Uh, it's based on a novel by Patty Chayefsky. And it's about, uh, actually starred William Hurt, and I think it was his first movie. It's about sensory deprivation, deprivation de-evolution, and uh, like genetic memory. But uh, it, it's, wow, you'd have to watch it. It's Altered States, I think it, that movie was out in 1980. Uh, on number three. Four favorite TV show, hands down, The Twilight Zone, back when Rod Serling first started it up. Love that series. It was uh, a landmark as far as I'm concerned in terms of, you know, a, a television show and the writing and stuff was just, it was, it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Graham, that it wasn't Doctor Who, but uh, it's it's the Twilight Zone, and Tom Baker's still the man. Um, favorite sport? That's number five. Um, MMA. It used to be boxing. Now it's MMA. I just I like combat sports. I mean, uh, uh, because of combat sports, uh, and this was. Going back to question number or question number one, I uh, have a floating bone chip in this eye. I've had my nose broke, and I broke that finger there from 
you know, being engaged in combat with folks. And number six, guilty pleasure. That one there is a tough one. Um, not really sure how to approach that one. What is my guilty pleasure? I like watching goofy movies that most other folks don't appreciate. Like Napoleon Dynamite, Super Troopers. I don't know, I think a lot of people like Dumb and Dumber, but... Uh, and then B-movies like getting into sci-fi, like the take on Lovecraft's From Beyond. really enjoyed that one. So. I guess it would be my guilty pleasure watching movies other people don't like or don't appreciate. So that is the tag, and thanks again, Graham, for throwing me under the bus, and uh, I'll see you good people in my next video. Like I said, don't, don't do this. This is just 